Hey y'all, it's Cameron with the Atlas Strength Shop back with another video. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to pull one out. Been out of state, been sick, been traveling, been getting stuff done here. So I'm going to try to catch you up on some of the things that we have been doing, uh, as well as show some of the big things that are coming up. So went out of state, go to visit family, came back, and immediately had to hit the ground running, do the final preparations for Night of the Living Deadlift. That was the USAPL show that I've been talking to y'all about over the past few months. Went great, had a lot of lifters. Most of them were youth, which I love watching youth athletes because they don't, it's not they don't take it as seriously, it's that they're not really after it for clout. They're just there to lift heavy things and have a blast. And that is really refreshing to see in this world where everybody is clout chasing. Now it's back to projects. Last time I talked to y'all, I was working on the power stairs and we are still working on the power stairs. I finally have all of the different layers assembled. We're gonna, and what it is, it's gonna be four layers tall. When this thing's put together, it's going to be four feet wide, roughly 13 and a half feet long, and about five and a half feet tall. Each layer is gonna be about 15 inches thick. And the way I'm doing it is I've got one layer of pallet, and I'm gonna do two layers of three quarter inch uh, plywood in between each pallet, layer of pallet. Then it's gonna be another pallet layer, another layer of the plywood. Then we go to our next step and we're going to have uh we're going to have rubber on top of each one just to make sure it protects the implements both the power stairs themselves and what we're picking up we're also going to do plywood bracing along the sides as well as the front make sure this thing is very very structurally sound but the big push this week is i want to get our high bar set up went and got two 55 gallon drums Pick those up over the weekend, and I've got these two flagpoles that I bought off of Amazon. We are going to use the flagpoles for the uprights just because they're already metal, um, and they already have pulley systems. So all we have to do is hook up PVC pipe to it, and we can raise that high bar up 25 feet if we want to. I doubt we'll ever need that high, but in case we get some Highland Games athletes back here that like to work things like sheaf, it's good for us to be able to reach that high. So that's the main plan. I'm going to have to... I hate doing uh, concrete, been doing a lot of concrete lately, but according to my calculations, each one of these is gonna need eight bags of 80 uh, pound concrete in them in order to get the amount of concrete I want in there to support these flagpoles. So will we be able to move them? Yes. Will I wanna move them? No, definitely not. Uh, but that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna try to have that up by this Saturday for Strongman Saturday. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the next one. It really does help us out a lot. If you're in the Baton Rouge area and you'd like to be part of this community, try out some of these things we're building, hit me up on Instagram. That is the best way to get in touch with me. If you're not in the Baton Rouge area and still like support us, you can do that a few ways. You can head to our website and you can check out our programming options and our apparel options. I designed all the apparel myself. I like it, hopefully you do too. If you're looking for a competition, the best one right now is to check out the 4th Annual Regroup Classic. That was happening in Kenner, Louisiana at the Pontchartrain Center. We're going to be in an expo for that one. And we are going to be using these Fingal Fingers that we built at that competition. That is November 18th in Kenner, Louisiana. You can find that one on Iron Podium. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Till next time, keep that tightened.